Hello and uh, welcome to a quick round of Battlefield. Today I'll show you how I use the Mav on Damron Peak. And um, without further ado, I park myself here. And you should go pretty high up. And uh, I'm playing on the PC and um, basically what you do is just spa spam Q as much as you can. I spam Q and uh, left click as well and uh, that pretty much spots everything on the map and you only need one Mav uh, for the entire team. Whenever you see a spawn beacon target it with your Mav no matter generally what the distance is although you should be relatively close. Uh, target it with your beacon to take it out or target with your map to take out the beacon rather and uh, just keep spotting things this uh, helps your entire team basically see every single enemy on the map and hopefully they'll be able to use that to win uh, you should usually focus on spotting the uh, odd one out that is to say like spot that guy there uh, with the MAV instead of spotting the entire group because the MAV is its own radar so it will actually pick up the other guys so just try to spot the other um, uh, other people on the uh, on the perimeter so to speak and uh, again if you see any tugs any other MAVs uh, any um, spawn beacons take them out uh, as quick as possible any EOD bots as well can be taken out uh, with the um, with the MAV and I think something is locking onto me, but I'm not sure. Maybe I was locking onto something, but I didn't see that. Uh, in any case, once your team pushes a bit through... Ah, there. There's the spawn beacon. Just try to target it with your, uh, with your middle uh, crosshair. And uh, it should uh, be disabled at one point. I'm not sure, sometimes it gets disabled really quick, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not sure what it affects, maybe it's the distance of the jamming signal, but uh, in any case it, it, it should get jammed and it does get jammed quite uh, in quite a quick time. And as you can see, uh, my team has taken both of, the, um, both of the points already and is moving up. And it really helps. It really helps seeing the entire map on the on the minimap or every single unit on the minimap. You can also spot bomb or C4 or uh, AT mines with this uh, with the Mav. So it's really useful to have uh, to have the Mav around, uh, especially on Damavan Peak, because you only have that one Humvee, uh, and you don't want that Humvee to get uh, AT mined or C4 uh, by the enemy. Um, once you get the first two points, you should move your MAV roughly above this area. That will give you a good, a good um, overview over their map uh, or over their base. And uh, you might be able to spot some tugs and spawn beacons that are on top of the hills. You should always move around with the MAV. If someone's trying to shoot you, you, sh you just shouldn't stay in the same place. And uh, that's one of the things that I don't like about the Mav is that it does get destroyed when you go out of the stage and I think it's a bit silly because it's just a uh, recon uh, unit basically. I like that. And that spawn beacon should be out in any second now. There we go. I usually mash the left click. I don't know if that helps or not, but it helps me mentally at least. I don't think you can take out any C4 or AT mines. I don't. I was never able to do so, so I don't think that's actually possible. It doesn't ha have any electronics in it after all. And uh, uh, you should try to help your team or your squad as much as possible. Uh, I actually am the squad leader, but I don't think I can give orders from the Mav. No. But uh, as you can see, the uh, the Mav is very useful to uh, to uh, reveal the entire enemy team to your uh, to your own team. And uh, if my guys were moving a bit further up uh, now, it would have been even better. 
you don't want to fly the MAV too high up, then you won't be able to uh, spot some units sometimes. I think it does have a certain radius uh, that uh, that you'd want to keep it in. Uh, roughly about, if you fly above the, um, the MCOM, you should have it at about 150 to 200 meters above the MCOM. No, no more, no less. Any less, it's probably going to get shot down. And... Um, it's actually pretty good if they start shooting your MAV. It's a uh, waste of bullets because it's very hard to hit the moving MAV uh, unless you have uh, an assault rifle. Nothing's really hard to hit with an assault rifle in this game. And just keep spotting. Just spam that Q button constantly. There is there is nothing else that you should do but just be spamming that Q. And uh, often you can uh, give your team, or at least squad, if you're on Skype or, or any kind of team speak with Entrello, you can give your squad uh, or team a, um, a voice uh, voiceover about where, uh, where the enemies are. When I play with my friends, it usually helps, helps the entire squad just uh, maul over the enemy without too much problems. Now, on Damo and Peak, you'd want to... Um, once this happens, once you get both points, you want to hang around in this area, check out any of the, um, of the enemy for any C4 on that helipad, that usually tends to happen, and then when the two other points uh, become um, capturable, you just leave your MAV and uh, take a good run towards the, uh, towards the other two points. It's uh, at this point you're way way behind your team and uh, I haven't shot a single round but I still have I'm still in the top 10 for example so uh, score wise you're still uh, doing well so you shouldn't really you know think about it you're doing something for your team that's uh, that's what battlefield rewards and, uh, check your map from time to time so it doesn't fall down too much. Uh, I don't actually know of a way to uh, to make the map go down on its own, except by exiting the map itself. So uh, if you know a way of uh, doing that, please uh, tell me, because uh, that would be extremely useful to have. As you can see now, I'm just running towards the uh, towards the uh, next two points and checking the map periodically. When it's, as I said, when it's at about 150 to 200 meters, you ought to stop and uh, start maving again and uh, spotting. But the map will spot on its own as well. So uh, while you're running, so um, yeah, just a bit more, I think. I saw a spawn beacon there. I think I can uh, grab that easy. There. There we go. There. And uh, you just keep doing the, the same thing basically. On this map I don't think there's uh, there's a better use for a MAV uh, than just uh, keep spotting the enemy. Well, generally that's the only thing a MAV does. But uh, what I mean is uh, Damavant Peak especially is a very good MAV map. Uh, up until the... Up until the last uh, two points, uh, your MAV can do a whole lot of good for your team. So just keep it up in the air and um, and uh, keep up uh, keep up the spotting. And uh, this is the only place where the MAV gets a bit less use is inside there. I can't really say that you can you can still fly the MAV. I'll show you. I'll uh, I'll just let it fall down on the ground there. Then I'll fly it in, uh, in the hangar there, or in the building. It's not of a lot of use though, because uh, it get, tends to get shot down pretty quick. But you can still use it, for example, park it around here. Oh, I actually went too far up now. Um, oh, I forgot I was on the edge. Well, let's try to plant that thing. 15 tickets left and it's I don't really feel like my team should lose at this point see it's not hard just try to rush it if if your team isn't rushing the MCOM I mean they're not doing a good job that's what rush is about after all just rushing the MCOM ah damn I think uh, I think we're gonna lose yeah well 
it doesn't matter. In any case, that's how you use the MAV. For the last two points, you uh, you simply let go of the MAV and uh, and go in with with an assault or uh, or fly the chopper behind the base. But um, for the first two two points, it's extremely useful to have a MAV. For the third point, maybe not so much, but uh, it's still useful to have it up. And uh, you get a ton of surveillance uh, efficiency ribbons. Uh, it's an easy way to get the medal as well. So. Um, Keep up the good work with the Mav.